Hello, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to InsurTech Virtual Matchmaking Expo 2020. I'm your MC for the day, uh, Tony Liu from InsurTech NY. Uh, InsurTech NY is a regionally based hub that connects InsurTechs from around the world to carriers, brokers, and investors interested in partnering with them. We do this through three activities, events, global competition, and an accelerator. Before we get started, I want to thank our global sponsor, Rightcore, for supporting this event. Rightcore is a fully managed core platform for property and casualty insurers that provides a flexible path toward ongoing innovation, digital transformation, emerging technology adoption, and new business model support. Thank you again, Brightcore. So uh, we have a very exciting event planned for you today, and this is uh, today's agenda. I'll be sharing a bit on how the expo works and quick interesting research on the insured tech job market uh, in the next few minutes. Uh, and, and as with all insured tech and our events, uh, we'll start the event with thought leadership content from expert speakers. And our panel, uh, for our panel um, uh, speakers for our first panel, uh, it will be from three successful startups. Uh, we'll talk about how to make the perfect insured tech hire. We'll then have information sessions from 10 insured techs who will talk about their company and open roles at 10 a.m. Uh, now, no, at the same time that information session is happening, there actually is going to be a parallel event happening on the Expo Hall, uh, where you have over 40 insured techs uh, waiting to talk to all of you who are looking to help support them in some way, either as, as advisors or employees. The Expo uh, will open until 2.30 p.m. Uh, what this means is there are two actually concurrent sessions going on, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. And we're actually trying to mimic what happens in real life events uh, where you have multiple sessions going on at the same time. So first I'm doing it in a virtual format. Uh, so please wish us luck. So uh, now I know most of you, uh, the concept of a virtual expo is new. Uh, this is why I'm going to try at least three times today to show you how it works. Uh, sometime between 10 a.m. to 30 p.m., as I mentioned, hop on over to the Expo Hall. You should all have a link to that uh, uh, Expo Hall link. It should be in your Eventbrite page, multiple emails we sent. We just sent an email just now uh, in your calendar, or uh, we're also going to share in the general chat uh, in a little bit. If you're still not sure, just email us at help at insuretechandride.com. So once you hop on over to the Expo Hall, don't do it now again, do it later. Uh, you'll notice that we'll be placed in some random table and something that looks like what you see here. Uh, so there are two sections. There's a section on the left that has the table booth with com company names in it, and then uh, tables on the right. So the com tables on the left basically is, is your booth. Uh, so you're, uh, the 40 plus insure text, each of them have a table, with their name on it. You can visit each table, just talk to them via your computer or video and audio. And if you want to talk to another booth, Literally just double click on that table and you'll be now talking to people only in that table. It's quite that simple. Uh, now, each table can only host up to six people, which means, uh, you know, if there are people randomly join your conversation, they'll just join you uh, up to six people. Uh, and if there are too many people, meaning maxed out at six people, then you kind of have to wait until somebody uh, gets out of that table to uh, talk to them. Uh, and if you want some privacy where you, you just want to have one-on-one -on -one conversation, you can actually move on to the right-hand side of the uh, floor uh, where you see interview tables. And uh, that table only limits you to have up to two, maximum two people. So if you want a one-on-one -on -one conversation, third person cannot join you. So you have a private conversation. Uh, a few extra things to watch out for. Remo really only works on Chrome browser on a PC or a Mac. Uh, that is the recommended, uh, you know, configuration. It could work in other, uh, you know, devices, but you know, recommend you don't because it could break. But you know, just try to use Chrome browser, or PC, or Mac. Your work uh, computer with high security settings or a VPN often doesn't go well with Remo. Uh, so if for some reason you're not accessing your audio videos, not working, try to use personal computer. 
Um, and when you're actually talking to people, obviously have your audio and video on, there's buttons on the bottom right that has audio and video on. Uh, if you're also having issues, refresh the browser. That almost always fixes the problem. So refreshing browser seems to work. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, do not have two Wemo sessions up at the same time. So there's, uh, as I mentioned, 10 to 11, there are two concurrent sessions happening. Don't have both of them up. Uh, it could work, but it's not supposed to work. And, and what I mean by that is when, when you go into both, things could break and you might not be able to talk to one or the other. So uh, if you want to go to Expo Hall, just close the information session uh, and vice versa. Uh, finally, I want to share uh, two helpful resources for you. Uh, the first is the Open Roles database. So you can look for these roles and find who has the open roles. Um, so here I did a quick research or search on the role description for software to see these companies have these open roles. Uh, and then the second resource is the map. So uh, you want to know where the insure techs are that have the open roles you're looking for. And so uh, there's a PDF link. Uh, if you go to the first page, it has the booth list, end list and then page two to five or six actually has a map of where they are. Uh, so you can look, look them up. Now, a uh, couple of things, floor five is an open networking uh, floor. And then uh, there's actually a tech lounge in the middle, says tech lounge. If you have any audio video issues, you can actually come there. There'll be at least uh, one insure tech and my person. By the way, uh, there's gonna be, you know, five, six, you know, insure tech and my person, like hopefully one per floor uh, where they'll be hanging out in the lounge. So uh, if you're having any issues, go to that table and talk to them and, and they'll try to help you or just come up to uh, the fifth floor. Great, and I'll repeat some of this again if you missed some of them. All right, so uh, before we get to the panel, we want to share a bit of research we conducted about the insure tech employment landscape. Uh, like many industries, insurance has been impacted by the economic challenge of COVID-19. Uh, many insurers have frozen hiring or had to downsize their workforce. Uh, but uh, insurance professionals should take some comfort in the continued strong demand for the talents by insure tech startups, which are driving innovations and new business models within the insurance industry. Uh, there are a lot of openings uh, among insure techs, but we actually want to dig in to understand what kind of openings there are. So, uh, you know, there's thousands of insure techs, a lot of jobs. So we, we wanted to uh, dig in and, and try to look at a representative sample to uh, give us some decent insight to what's going on. So we looked at insure techs founded since 2013 uh, with 20 million more in funding and with 20 plus open roles. This resulted in 40 insure techs with 250 job listings and we analyzed these job listings. And what we found is the following. So uh, this shows you all the uh, different open role categories for the, the open uh, job listing we looked at. And 52% uh, uh, were made up of engineering and sales roles. So uh, if you're an engineer or sales, you likely have a great chance in working in short text because they're looking for people like you. Um, after engineering sales, uh, you know, we actually have uh, insurance focused jobs like clean underwriting and product management and, and others that you see on the screen here. So a few more interesting insights uh, and, and the first is the majority of the openings are from companies who raised capital in 2020. So if you're looking for a open role uh, in among insurance techs, probably any startup Look, look at their, uh, you know, whether they raise capital this year, the likelihood is they're looking for uh, to fill those open roles. Uh, second is uh, many uh, of the uh, openings that we looked at actually were from health related insure techs like Oscar Health and Global Health that they're, they're actually hiring a lot. And, um, and then a few other things just uh, functional wise, insurance function jobs, probably obvious, but you know, Carriers or MGA type insure techs are like HIPAA and state title. They're, they're looking for uh, these type of uh, insurance people who have insurance expertise. So um, that probably makes sense. And then in terms of sales functions, B2B service providers uh, like Encore, they're, they're looking for these sales functions and, and BD roles. 
And uh, finally, everyone is looking for engineering talent. So if you're an engineer, uh, you have a very high chance of being able to work with uh, these awesome HR techs. All right, so that's uh, some interesting uh, data point that we wanted to share with you.